Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to construct boxes to hold DC and servo motors. You will be using two kinds of tape during the construction of these boxes. Masking tape, which is sticky only on one side, and double-sided tape, which is sticky on both sides. Therefore, the double-sided tape has a backing layer that you will need to peel off after you cut it off the roll. When you cut it off the roll, be very careful to really only touch the sticky tape with the sharp part of the scissors. If you let the tape rest on the flat part of the scissors, it will stick and cause your scissors to be sticky as well. I recommend only cutting the double-sided tape when you need it. The masking tape, I recommend that you tear off quite a few pieces and stick them to the edge of the table so that you can use them as you need them. First, we will assemble the front, bottom, and one side. The front has the big hole in it, the bottom has the slot, and the sides are the solid pieces of cardboard. Use one piece of masking tape for each edge. Next, we will put three pieces of double-sided tape on the bottom around the slot. Then we will put in the smaller slot piece on top of that and press firmly. Make sure that the slotted piece fits firmly into the corner. If there's any gap, later it will be hard to assemble the sides of the box. Next, add three more pieces of double-sided tape on the bottom. Add the wider slot, add two more pieces of double-sided tape, and add the final slotted piece. Press all of it firmly together and then insert the motor into the space. It should fit very tightly into the box. Next, we'll add the back piece. That's the one with the small hole. Thread the wire through the hole and attach the piece with several pieces of masking tape. Put on the final side and the top piece with more masking tape, and you're done. The motor is held securely. Next, we'll assemble the box for the servo motor. It's very similar process. You assemble the first three pieces, the front, bottom, and side. In this case, the bottom has a notch cut out of it. Using double-sided tape, secure the next notched piece into the bottom, making sure that you go all the way into the corner. Press firmly. Then you can add double-sided tape to the other notched pieces and add them. You'll add the one with the same size notch on top of that first one, then the two with the larger notches. Then it's time to put the motor into the box. You may need to remove any attachments on the front of the motor in order to put them through the front of the box. If you do, keep the screw and use it to reattach the piece. Then it's time to put on the back piece, thread the wire for the motor through the small hole, and attach the back piece with tape, then attach the side with more tape, and attach the top with masking tape. There you have a nice secure servo motor and DC motor. Thanks for watching.